Welcome to day number 17 of Vlogmas. Today I had the idea of doing a lefty round at Valmont, my home course. So you can see the course and you can also see me play lefty. The reason I do that, I'm trying to do this, is one, because it's gonna be hilarious, and two, because I wanna balance out my left side and make it more coordinated and stronger. So let's get this party started. Oh. Oh. Out. All right, let's do this. Oh, I hit metal. Hell yeah. I've been looking for the disc I just threw for a good like 10, 15 minutes. I thought it was a legit ace run and somehow it's in this crap and the basket is over there. You can't even see it. Oh my gosh. All right, let's see how, what happens. I just got put in my place. I was three down through the front seven, and I swear, I parked that grenade. Like, it felt so good out of hand, perfect velocity, and it just rocketed some freaking wayward location. I think what happened is it hit a rock right by the basket and shot it straight back, and you saw it put me in the worst position ever, and I got a five. Still under par. The goal for this round is under par. If I can do that, I'll be happy. But the drives are feeling really good, Lefty. 
at the approach shots and scramble. It's not really there at all. All right, we're out in the open. Time for some, some bombs. Some shots are coming off really well and I can't believe that they're going in, but others are really terrible. I can, can, I can do a pretty good lefty, but as soon as you bring angles into the equation, like throwing flat or Anheuser, that's when it gets all wonky and it feels ridiculous. But I'm two under right now, I'm doing all right, I'm doing all right.
Okay, well, I shot two under. I think I had a total of four bogey strokes, so six birdies. So if I could clean that up, six under, maybe a few more, eight under, I'm pretty happy with it. The problem is potting with my left hand. It feels so bad. I just, it feels like a newborn baby. But the cool thing about throwing lefty is it really helps me when I like do clinics or when I talk to like new up and coming players, it puts me in the kind of beginner's mindset where I have to really emphasize my movements and make sure that all my body mechanics are falling into place. So with my knowledge of my right side, what I was doing a lot wrong with my left side is I'm pulling through a lot higher and that's causing me to throw high stall shots and not get full power and adjust my angle. So I need to focus on bringing it lower to my chest and my arm is out like this. If I wanna be more compact, I gotta drop my arm to the side and be just more, more streamlined and explosive. So if I'm out here with my uh, disc coming high across my chest opposed to here and this low, I'm missing out on a lot of potential. And of course, planning your feet in the right positions, making sure you're I guess it's your left foot in this case is dropped out to the right opposed to in a straight line. Just little things like that. I feel a little bit more coordinated already. Maybe I should uh, do this maybe once a week or something. It's more to balance out the left side because disc golf is so right arm centric that you're just gonna build this side up so much and then your left side's gonna be, be like, it feels left out and not a part of the party. Maybe playing some rounds lefty, Strengthening your left side is all really great ideas. This is day 17 of Logmas. I need to go back home and give away the disc. So let's do that now. Okay, we're giving away this MD that I told you about yesterday. The question I asked was, what tournament are you looking most forward to play or watch in 2019? And the winner for this MD is Justice Martinez. He wrote, I'm pumped for GBO. It's gonna be my first year playing in it and my first opportunity to see all you top pros play in person. So congratulations, Justice Martinez. You know the drill, message me on Facebook or Instagram. Get me that address. Okay, now I'm gonna ask you guys, what is your favorite type of shot to throw in disc golf? So please post your comments down below. And what is on the line, I'm up in the ante a little bit, is a C-Line DD2, a $10 off coupon for Disc Mania, a bundle of zipper pulls by Paracord by Lark. A little bit more there, and cool, yeah. I'll see you guys tomorrow on day 18 of Vlogmas. Tomorrow's gonna be a really busy day, so I don't know how much I'll be able to film, but we'll see how it unwinds. All right, until next time, keep on dreaming, peace.